Hello, my name is Simon, and today Big Orbit Games has got a bit of a special video. We're going to show you what's available for Armada players in the Massing at Solace pre release event for Armada this weekend. So that is the 3rd and 4th of October. Our event in store is going to be running on the 3rd of October, the Saturday. Uh, I imagine a lot of you are going to be watching this after the event, unfortunately, but anyone who can make it along, it's going to be an awesome tournament to play in. So uh, I can't fit everything on screen at once. But all of Wave 2 is available as prizes in this event. So I'm just going to quickly show you what you get in there. I'll show you those in a moment. So first of all we have the two small packs. The Rogues and Villains uh, expansion for the Squadrons. And the Imperial Raider. So the Imperial Raider has been seen in X-Wing before. This one obviously being a little bit smaller. Um, but nonetheless more deadly for it. So there's lots of upgrade cards in here. Um, you get eight different upgrade cards, this is including new titles and stuff, which will be useful for most of them, sorry, apart from the titles, will be useful for all the different factions. Um, so, it's going to be cool to see the Raider, it's quite a nippy sort of like anti-squadron ship. It's going to be interesting to see if play, uh, Imperial players are now going to do like the equivalency of a Corellian Corvette uh, swarm this with those. We also have the Rogues and Villains squadrons, so as you can see at the bottom there, this includes all these different ships, so anyone who's played X-Wing you'll recognise most of them. Um, so you get all of these in here, there's loads, so you get, obviously you get Millennium Falcon and Slave 1 in there, but you also get things like the Outrider, the IG-2000, and then if I read the back here we have the Houndstooth, which is also in the X-Wing game, IG-2000 there. We also have the, I think that was the Havoc, or the Punishing One, sorry, sorry, it's the Punishing One. We have the Havoc, the Mouldy Crow, the Outrider, the Millennium Falcon, and the Slave 1. And again, um, you get all the discs and cards useful for them. You get a character card for each one and a sort of like a more generic version. The top four are used for the Rebels and the bottom four are used for the Imperials. So there's a bit of everything for everyone in there. So if you, you and your friends play, uh, it could be useful for you to get a pack of these each and trade them off if you play the different factions. So those are going to be available as prizes at the Massing at Celeste. Then we have, oh, sorry, camera. Then we have the MC30C frigate. So this is the Mon Calamari frigate. Um, so it's quite a little ship, as you can see in there. Quite a thin, um, quite a thin ship. It almost seems dwarfed by the box, unfortunately. But do not underestimate it. <laughs> so you get lots of new expansions in here as well. Um, Again, the upgrade cards are useful for both factions, apart from the titles, obviously. Um, there's some cool stuff in there. You also get the new commander, um, General Re Recon, I think, if I remember right. Um, he's a very cool general for the Rebels. Um, coming in at 30 points, when a friendly ship or friendly unique squadron is destroyed, instead of removing it, it remains in play until the end of the round. So basically, this gives you a bit of extra life, your Rebel ships. Very good if you're going to try and run something like a Corvette Swarm, for example, which we've already named, but just keep your ships around that little bit longer till the end of turn, let you get in those last few salvos. Very cool. So I'm going to put that to the side there. Then we have the Home Worn expansion. So this is the Mon Calamari Cruiser. Again, it's quite a thin ship. Uh, as you am sure you remember from the films if you've watched Return of the Jedi, and why haven't you if you've not? Uh, you can just see it's quite a cool looking ship from what I can see from the box. Uh, lots of detail work on there. And again, loads of expansion cards in there. Yes, you do get Admiral Akbar available as a general. Um, his ability is pretty sweet. It allows you to forfeit attacking out of your front and back arc, but if you attack out of your two side arcs, you get to add two, I think it's blue dice or red dice, I always forget, but you get to add two extra dice to your attacks out of those arcs. So if you can get a nice line up in between two of your opponent's ships, you can just do some devastating broadsides. So, home one's pretty sweet. And then lastly for the Imperials is the Imperial Star Destroyer. So this is quite a big ship, this is fairly hefty. Um, I will admit I kind of almost hoped it had been a bit bigger, but then if it had been too big it wouldn't have fit on the table. So um, 
yeah, this is quite a large ship, quite a large model. I know a lot of Imperial players have been looking forward to having this. Again, lots of upgrade cards in there and options for playing it. You do get Darth Vader available as a general. If I remember his ability... No, I can't remember his ability off the top of my head, unfortunately. Um, but still, he if I remember right from what I saw of him, he's a very cool general. We'll produce some interesting results about choosing him. Um, so yeah, unfortunately I can't get all of these in shot, but I'm just going to leave that one there for a moment, because if you do play in the Massing at Solist event, you get the Imperial 2 class Star Destroyer promo. I love the promos they've done for Armada, so you can see the Massing at Solist event itself, um, because the rather than being the normal um, portrait uh, cards, these ones come in landscape, and it just allows them to have this beautiful artwork in the middle. Star Destroyer raining down destruction upon those rebel scum. Um, but yeah, this is a very pretty promo card. Gonna be very happy to have uh, one of these to fly my ship with in future. So yeah, that is everything to show you for the Massing It Solace event. When Wave 2 comes out officially, we will be opening these up on camera and showing you everything you get inside of them. But for now, they are staying sealed tight ready for our players at our Massing at Sullust event. I hope to see some of you there, it's going to be a big weekend for it. Remember, 3rd of October for us uh, on the Saturday, starting at 11 o'clock. I hope to see some of you there, but otherwise, like and subscribe, join us in future for more Star Wars Armada unboxing and more videos. Bye.